God hears our prayers because he is always in our hearts. He hears us always because he is the words that which we are praying, those words that we seek to share with God. And to pray effectively, Master said, is to make God the nearest of the near, the dearest of the dear. And he would often remind the devotees of what Christ said, that God, the, the Father knows your needs before you are even ready to ask. The best way that we can pray to invoke the response from God is to make God our very own. Yogananda said that to pray effectively is to think of God as listening, loving, attentive, and all ever accepting. So we must, Yogananda said, have the confidence in Divine Mother, to have the confidence in the Heavenly Father, that if we approach God, if we approach Divine Mother with an open and loving heart, that we will be cared for, that our needs will be taken care of for us. And if you worship the God as the Father, um, he is already your father if that's what you choose to worship. He is already your mother if that's what you choose to worship. But whatever you choose to worship, Yogananda said to worship God as your very own. I want to urge everyone to consider increasing the, your time in prayer. As we know that famous saying from Christ that Two or more who are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. And so to come together in small groups here at the village, wherever you are watching from uh, home online, to get together with a small group of souls for a half hour or an hour and pray. Pray deeply for those who are in need. Because isn't it so that that which we're seeking Anything that we seek is bestowed upon us in response to our self-offering. And so there's a great need for prayer at this time. So do consider that. One of the most inspiring times of my life that has happened, I don't know, I'm six to 10 years ago, uh, where Master uh, brought me and the rest of the monks to Lourdes in France. Um, and to visit uh, Lourdes, which is um, a sanctified holy place of, in Massabier of uh, Saint Bernadette. And it was so beautiful there. Uh, one day that we just sat at the grotto where Divine Mother appeared to Saint Bernadette. And as a response to this, there's been many, many healings, miracles that have happened there. And sitting in the grotto, one day just uh, where there's a statue of Divine Mother so beautiful and people come to seek her blessing. And there were hundreds, thousands of people coming through the line seeking healing from Divine Mother. Some people on stretches, some people in wheelchairs, uh, but everyone who would come and they'd stop be below the statue of Mary and pray. And I was just weeping because for everyone, for all prayers that came before Divine Mother, I could feel that there was always just one response, which was her love. Because in that presence of Divine Mother's love, all healing is possible. All that we seek is possible. And I did more research about Lourdes especially about all, a lot of the miracles that happened there. And it was very interesting to find that many of many people had been interviewed and they were asked the question, so what was your prayer to Divine Mother to receive such a dramatic healing? And you know what everyone's prayer was? 
It wasn't for themselves. It was for someone else. So remember this in your life to the more that we selflessly offer ourselves to Divine Mother's feet to pray for those who are in need, the channel is blessed by what flows through it. And all these things will be added onto you. All those things that you're seeking. <laughs>